Harper, what's up? I'm at a murder scene in the Narrows. I'm busy. Can you handle it? You're going to want to check this out in person. I have the suspect in custody, Alfred Pennyworth. Beaten to death. Local girl. Garbage collectors found her about an hour ago. She lived with a boyfriend who was at work all night. He told us that him and Pennyworth got into it earlier. Says that he was trying to keep him separate from his girlfriend. Says that he made advances towards the victim. According to him, Pennyworth got rough. Rough? That doesn't sound like him. Come on. You and I both have seen Alfred lose his temper. There's more. This was found next to the body. It's an SAS signet ring. Impressions of it on the victim's face. Thanks. Give us a minute. Is this yours? Yes, but I... I you hit this I, girl? No. How can you even ask that? It was the boyfriend. I mean, he beat her before. Now he's gonna bloody kill her. Says you were fighting with him. Because he beat her! I swear, he's a liar. All right, calm down. You're in enough trouble as it is. The last thing you need to do is lose your temper. Who was this girl, Leo? She was a friend. Just a friend. Well, you just met her? Well, I know you find this hard to believe, Gordon, but we connected. She was a beautiful, kind soul. Now, her murderer's name is Rooney, right? Gil Rooney. He has an alibi. I swear to God, I am, I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch. Calm down. Take a breath. Go with Harper to the precinct. Make a statement. I'll find you later, yeah? And you're gonna arrest Rooney as well, yeah? He will make a statement, yes. Cap. Got a witness who saw Pennyworth and the boyfriend getting into it. She saw the whole thing. All right, take Alfred back to the precinct. Come by after my last stop. Okay. Where is he? Damn it. <clears throat> Tabitha. What? Oh my God, it worked. It hurt, I'll tell you that. What happened to you? And who turned you into this thing? I don't remember much. I remember Barbara shooting me in the head. Something in that swamp brought me back. I'm a monster. I came here. What, tell me? I came here because the one thing that is still very clear in this thick head of mine is my feelings for you. I still love you, Tabby.